Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything. In this video, I'm going to try a different approach to a repair for the PSP, the face buttons. I actually did a video on this quite a while ago, at least, what, probably five, probably six years ago. I had a PSP, you know, I, I got rid of it, so I bought this one on uh, eBay. Uh, I had to put an aftermarket faceplate on it, and uh, so I, I actually thought that might have been the problem, but I think it's this um, membrane here, so I, I bought a new one to try. At the time, I'm not sure if they even sold these in replacements, so I came up with the fix, and it does work. I can link to that video. What you do is uh, you get like a little gum band and put here, and you can put something behind this, and it would start to make contact, but I took it back out. Like, you can probably hear this one's mushy. Usually it makes contact, but you do have to push a little harder. So when you're just in the heat of the moment, you know, you don't feel it. So that mod I did, it basically didn't have any play or any travel. But it was really tight, and it would uh, work just fine, but it just the muscle memory does not feel right. So I decided I don't want that anymore. And now you can get these replacement uh, button membranes, so I'm hoping this will fix it, and I guess by the end of the video we'll find out if it does. Again, my issue was the square button. So it's the nature of because they have a cutout, a provision for the LCD in the bezel. So it doesn't have a lot of uh, that membrane behind it giving it support. But I've also read people said that other buttons didn't work. So hopefully this will fix uh, multiple issues with those buttons. This is the listing that I bought from. Now they only have 21 ratings. So I'm pretty certain that this wasn't on there back 2018 or whenever I, I did this other mod. Uh, I'm not sure if back then you could buy these. You probably could, but I just didn't know of it. And I would probably, if this works, I would probably suggest just buying these new Chinese ones. I don't think that uh, buying a, a parts PSP, you know, it's t almost 20 years old now. If you have an issue, there's a good chance the other one will. Especially if you're getting a cheaper, probably not as well taken care of parts one. So hopefully a brand new one will uh, get the job done. It was only $8, so it's cheaper than a parts PSP would be. Okay, so I'll show you what comes in this, and I'll do a little comparison. Now you do get two of everything. So this is the membrane for these buttons. The round, and you can see where that, that's the cutout. You can see it, it's a very sharp cutoff. This one is similar. This is for the D-pad, but you can tell it's not as drastic because you still have a lot of that rubber uh, gasket there. To where this one, you can see it's all cut out, so there's not as much support. These are for your L and R shoulder buttons. But in one of the reviews, someone said that it, how it uses these three little uh, pads to make the connection, that the, they just didn't like it and made it feel different. I mean, mine worked just fine, so I'm actually not going to touch those. But I will keep them, obviously, in case in the future they fail, I'll have them. So this is the one that will fix, hopefully, this issue here. But I will go ahead and swap out the d-pad one too even though i don't have any issues with it but it, it might again it's almost 20 year old materials here so it'll probably add a little bit of uh, rigidity to the, those button presses and i already went ahead and took it apart the screws here faceplate i mean i i did a video i'm not sure if i showed everything in it you can see here how warped this one is now it's probably a good idea to clean all your connections where the button's made up but mine should be good and someone said in the video that it could be the aftermarket faceplate but i still have my one of the cracked the original sony one i tried um, swapping the membrane and it still acted exactly the same and i tried to eyeball it as good as i could like the dimensions look really similar And you might be able to see here, see how this rubber is a little bit lifted up? I 
I'm hoping this new one has a bit more spring to it. Now it also is significantly thinner. So this the top one's the original. The bottom one is the new one. You can see it's a little bit thinner. So, uh, I mean, this is brand new. It should have more spring and tension to it. But that is something to note. And if I... So now the original's on the right. The new one's on the left. See if all these cutouts and everything uh, line up as they should. These just slip right on. You can see there's a few little standoffs that made up with the holes in this. And then it presses in. Now that square button still raised, as you can see. But once it's sandwiched in there, I'm hoping because they make it to where it really doesn't even touch the uh, screen because they don't even for whatever reason they didn't even want that to rest on right here you can actually see the indentation where the the plastic button touches that but for whatever reason they decided to not have that membrane extend out which would have gave it more support now this is the 1000 model the 2000 I think it's a completely different design so I think that one probably was more robust. This is also the original one. And again, I'll, I'll at least try this new one. So I'm going to get everything fitted up. Put it back. I'm not going to put the screws in until I'm sure it makes a difference. And I'll come back with the update. All right. So again, I haven't put any screws in. And I'll also touch on that. I know, I know these videos go long when I talk about all these different things. But uh, if you're wondering... They're really small screw heads, and the, when I had this faceplate and I had to try and fit it on and test fit it and make sure there wasn't uh, dirt underneath the, the lens, I had to take it screws in and out multiple times, and they started to strip. Once they're stripped down in there, they're almost impossible to get out because try getting a drill bit or something to drill that screw out. And if you have one and you want to try and pull it, you're going to crack the case or something. So I try to limit how many times I uh, take those screws out. So right now, I mean, it will be a little bit tighter when I get those screws in it. But just putting a little pressure here. That's nice and clicky. Nice and clicky. You might I don't know how the mic will pick that up. But this one, it's still a little bit more quiet. You can just tell how that's designed. You don't get as much. But it springs back really good now. I know it's going to make connection. I will say I actually don't like the feel um, as much. I find that this old one had better feel, probably because it's thicker. It probably just had a little bit more spring back. These feel slightly bit more mushy. They don't feel as clicky. But again, this one's not damaged. This one's not worn out. So that did fix my problem. Again, if for people that say maybe the X button or something doesn't work, if you took it apart and cleaned the contacts, I would suggest just getting one of these. You can buy a parts PSP or ones where they tear it down and sell those parts. You might get a better, because it's that heavier membrane, it's the factory one. So it might work better, but there's also a chance that it's also worn out on that square button or something. So that's kind of the caveat to it. So I have it all put back together, everything works. Now obviously on the menu, X is select, circle is back, y, or triangle brings up information, or in this case the bar. But I like to use the internet browser to, specifically to test the square button, because you get like this tab switcher up here. It pretty much gets it on this loose part, and that's really firm here, which is usually more so where I get it, because you know, you're here, here, and you kind of just go right to that edge of it, rather than clear on this end where it's a little bit looser. D-pad works just fine too. It didn't throw off uh, my analog stick at all. It's still working just fine. So I would go ahead and call that a fix. 
it doesn't feel as good as the original but it's much better than even the mod I did before where I kind of just took all the play out of it and made it just directly touch it. That, though it worked, I didn't like it at all. This doesn't feel as good as brand new, but for a 20-year-old console, just to be able to buy something new so I don't have to worry about hitting the you know used PSP lottery. So I, I got some parts. I got extra ones. I'll probably keep the original ones too. But it was like eight, ten dollars after tax, something around there, and it fixed the issue. I don't use the PSP that much, but it's just nice to know that everything's ready to go in the event that I need it. So I'll leave that there. Hopefully, it was helpful. So at least you can get these new ones to help rebuild your PSP if necessary. So thanks for watching, and you'll see me in the next one. Have a good one.